When I'm out of the gym and I'm lifting weights, I lift very little. When I'm out of the gym and I'm hitting the bag, I'm hitting it not very hard. <laughs> Rocky sees the benchmark for boxing films and sports films in general are reviewing the whole series and the first film centres on the essential character <laughs> they haven't missed that as he lives as a struggling boxer in Philadelphia as an underrated boxer, underrated as a person and as a boxer 50 bucks, you and your girl Adrian, you have a nice time, eh? Thanks What? what? What'd you tell me? He's not respected and he gets reef off the boxing gym owner, Mickey, played by Meredith Burgess. Or is it Burgess Meredith? You know, I've been coming in for six years, and six years you've been sticking it to me. I want to know how come. You want to know? I want to know how! Okay, I'm going to tell you. Because you had the talent to become a good fighter. And instead of that, you became a leg breaker. Some cheap, second-rate loan shark. To live in? It's a waste of life. Rocky has a liable mate, Paula, played by Bert Young. And he actually fancies his sister, Adrian, played by Talia Shure. She's shy, she's under confidence. You know, she's very contained. And she just looks complete opposite to Rocky. But Rocky sees something that no one else does. So he wants to go out with her. Well, he gets him a date with her, and it goes well. So they start the relationship. <laughs> After the main contender gets injured, the heavyweight champion of the world needs a fighter. Apollo Creed, played by Carl Weathers, comes up with the idea to give local underdog a chance at a shot at the title. And he chooses Rocky. Rocky, do you believe that America is the land of opportunity? Yeah. Apollo Creed does. And he's going to prove it to the whole world by giving an unknown a shot at the title. Rocky is reluctant because he feels that he'll get murdered. But he does hate the shot. And when Mickey finds out about it, he offers to train him. And that seems just brilliant. Rocky doesn't want to know because he wanted Mickey's help years ago, but never got it. But that scene is just brilliant where, you know, Mickey's trying to build some bridges and Rocky's just turning away. But eventually Rocky does allow him to train him. I need your help about ten years ago, right? Ten years ago, you never helped me. You didn't care. Well, if you wanted help, I say, if you wanted help, why didn't you ask? Why didn't you just ask me again? Look, I asked, but you never heard nothing. Now, this film has two parts to me. The first part is actually kind of sweet, are you seeing the character and you're seeing what he is and you can tell he's unhappy, he's really unhappy he looks unhappy about his past, the way he's living, what's he here for you know he's kind of questioning his purpose and it's real sweet at the beginning you find out he's finding <clears throat> oh, ah, oh. at the beginning you find out he's working for a loan shark named Tony and you know he's doing the dirty jobs I figure if I break the guy's thumb, he gets laid off, right? He can't make it. Yeah, well, don't money. figure. Let me do the figure, okay, Rock? From here, just let me do the figure. And you can tell he's unhappy about it. You know, he wants to be a respected fighter. But, you know, fighting bombs in a shit house, you're not going to do that. I mean, who am I kidding? I ain't even in the guy's league. And the second part, obviously, is the boxing, as you get in the build up to it. and. The last hour of the film, it's just a breeze. As you're going through, how Rocky feels about the fight. Nobody's ever gone the distance with Creed. And if I can go that distance, seeing that bell rings and I'm still standing, that weren't just another bum from the neighborhood. Promoting the fight. 
you know, he's dealing with, with Adrian and Paula. Come on! Wanna hit on me? Come on! I'll break both your arms so they don't work for you! And then you get the first of what will become many training montages, and it's, it's really great. bit of it sorts at the beginning but Mickey turns him to a good fight machine and when you get to the fight it's it's a war it's just a 15 round battle Apollo really takes the fight lightly doesn't expect anything you know expects it for put it away early so he can go home and have his tea not the case when you fight him okay <laughs> Big hitting with a terrific score from Bill Conte going the distance in the background. It's just a route. The whole, the whole score for this film was just dynamite. It, it's, it means it's legendary. Everyone remembers the score to Rocky. I'm giving the first film five stars. When I was a kid, I thought the pacing was a bit too slow. Uh, but as an adult, you learn to appreciate it more, and because you need to see the character develop, you need to know who he is from the start and you need to see this story. And I like the character developed of Adrian Moore. Wish me luck, I'm gonna need it. Good luck. Don't leave town. And she looks like the kind of person who wouldn't say nothing, but at the end of the film, you know, she's giving her own, you know, she's having problems with her brother, and she's stepping up to him. You know, so, props to that. Let me know what you thought about the first rocket. Leave a comment whether it's good or bad. Cheers.